how do I distinguish between a hunter making a bugle and the real thing? And I can't say I always can, but most times you'll notice the a hunter in his bugle is, is usually doesn't give you that vibration type feeling that you get from a real elk. A lot of times it has more of a flute sound to it. Uh, it might be, I don't want to say tinny or plastic, it, it, more plasticky sounding. Uh, but all that said, I've heard some real elk bugle where I said, ah, oh, that's another hunter. And I walked down the ridge and it was really an elk. So do you do any bugling at night to locate bulls for your morning hunts? Yes lots. In fact, if I have a rut hunt, I am up and at them anywhere an hour to two hours before the sun comes up. And a lot of times I'll, I might, if it's a forest service road that's open, I might drive it, park the truck, walk out to a ridge and bugle. If I hear something, I mark it on my GPS, come back, I drive further, go out, do the same thing. By the time this, before the sun comes up, I've marked quite a few locations on my GPS that say, I know there are bulls there. I heard them. Very seldom do you hear other hunters in the dark. If you hear them in the dark, the odds are it's a bull. So then I look at, all right, here's where I heard a whole pocket of them. I'm going in there. That's the first place I'm going. I'm going to be in there before the sun comes up. I'm going to be playing the wind, getting myself in position. So hopefully when they make their move, whether it's to go to bed or whatever, I'm going to be in their way. Maybe I'll have an encounter.